Hello YouTubers, this is Puka Digit here and finally after two months of waiting for this to arrive here in Hong Kong, it's finally here at last. And just to let you all know, how do you get this book? Well, the only way to get this book is from the event that's held in Japan and the Digimon uh, festival kind of event and only held in one day on July 31st. But you may wonder if I really flew there. Nope, I did not flew there of course because I have no money and I was at the uh, Anycon event. So I asked one of the seller again to help me uh, pre-order it and then finally, boom, it's here. And all the stuffs from that uh, Digimon event, I'll put a poster right here, the picture. That is the event that they will have a lot of limited uh, items that is really, really awesome that you can get pins, merchandises, books, posters, and so forth, everything, including this one. This is a really piece of artwork and I can't wait to open it. As you can see, it's still packed it up and I got it just today. And that seller, he's going to fly to Japan and get more Digimon goodies. So let's put these uh, on the other side, uh, Agumon and Telmon away. So looking at the simple design of this uh, Digimon Adventure Strike, you can see at the upper right, it says here in Japanese and English. And then the lower one, it says here the Digimon Adventure Strike design work. So everything is actually the, this kind of work in progress kind of illustration book. So this is how it looks like at the front. And then moving to the back of the side, as the mini bonus, what people who purchase it from that, is, uh, that doesn't live in Japan, like myself, you have a bonus. There's two uh, designs actually. One is actually of Omega Mon if you buy if you buy this in Japan in that specific event. But if you for but for those of you that doesn't live in Japan like myself, you will get this lovely postcard. I'll flip it that way just to let you all see it properly. There we go. You can see all the Digimon characters, all nine of them. As you can see, make ones at the upper right there. Let me get the closer look. There you go, really lovely design and then you can see there's that signature right here of the one who created this postcard and it's limited as well, that's also provided in this work of this design book. So I really highly suggest that do not sell this one, even myself, I will not sell this off because it's limited and it's priceless. So no further ado, let's get this uh, stuff open. So one brief look at this lovely postcard, even though it's not in color, but the illustration how the person designed it, the one created the Digimon, look at that closely, from Piemon, Mikumon, Tentumon, Palmon, Telmon, Gomon, uh, Gabumon, Agumon, and then Padamon, really really nice, you can see even uh, it says postcard and then that stamp shape of the Digimon Adventures try. And then here are the mini credits from the toy animation and it says not for sale. So putting this back here. Whoops. Just put it right here. So now let's start on this book. So you can see it's very shiny right here. You can see that then the book here is like a hard cardboard. Which is really is nice and look at that. It's like this kind of film where you're doing take one, take two, or an action kind of scene. And it's like this digital kind of theme. Every time they show the digital adventure try, you can see those digital stuff. It's really, really gorgeous. So, putting you up here. And wow, look at this. It's so cool. You can see it's like in this kind of uh, material. I don't know how you explained it. But look, as I, as I can... As I flip it up and down, you can see there's Omega Mon right there. And then all the digital uh, numbers as uh, 0, 1, 2, 2, 1, like that. You can see how I just go with the light reflect right there. That is so amazing. Let's go to the back side. So it's nothing much, it's still the same like the ones right here. But for the side ones right here, you can't really see it clearly, but it says here Digimon Adventures Try. Digimon Adventure and it says her design work. So no further ado, let's begin. And I know I haven't opened the book yet, so I don't know which one's front and back. Let's see if I get it correctly. Yep, this is the front. So going to the very first uh, page right here. 
man this is really a really long book so you can see here there's all the way from number one all the way to five and here are the contents character and partner uh, digimon rookie and champion design digimon design works prop design works art design works and uh, 3d cg model so let's get started on the first one And look at that, the very first thing you see is the color illustration of the five uh, uh, Digidestins and the nine the Digimons. Look at that, that is really amazing. And then looking here you can see the scratches, uh, the WIP. Okay, let's put this one here. So I will have a bit of a gap. So looking through that, oh my goodness. All the WIP stuffs. That's going from Tai Chi first, and then all the way to his uh, casual clothes. And it's very, very heavy, I can guarantee you all. If those of you have uh, pre-ordered this, it's heavy. And then here's how it looks like. They did all the scratches and stuff. And then there it is, uh, there's Agumon. Even though the fact that Agumon's face right here, it looks creepy. His head is so enormous. And then there's more Agumon, but more uh, detailed. Now next is Yamato. From his face to his casual clothes and even the detail on his uh, belt right there, they really put a lot of effort. And then to his other outfit that he goes like going to his band, um, K.O.D. or in long form is uh, Night of Day. Then here is Gabumon, and you can see without the outfit, <laughs> he looks very here, really uh, ridiculous without his fur coat. And then here's more Gabumon, but more for the details, and you can see there all the information about Gabumon. Then next up is Sora. And I'm so sorry if it's a little bit blurred because I'm trying my best to hold the book. There's more detail on her, and then here's her casual clothes. And then even the watch, look at that. It really is cool. And even her uh, her four leaf necklace. Really nice touch. Flipping more. Her other outfit. Like the summer outfit. And then her partner, uh, Pia or uh, Piemon or Biamon. Look at that. Even the sleeping pose from her phone is really really cute. Then more detail. Then next up is Koshiro. So I'm gonna do flip by flip as I'm like talking a lot just to let you all know the content inside. Then Tentumon right here. Then next up Mimi. Then on her cheering clothes, that is from the school uh, festival. And then her partner, uh, Palmon. Even in fact, the face right here is kind of creepy. And then another Palmon uh, detail version. And then we have a kimono version, which is she's very um, a little bit uh, creepy in this uh, in this version. So next up is Joe. And so sorry if my phone's moving. That is a lot of sketches and WIP indeed. Then his uh, prep school uniform. And then the detail of the watch. Oh my goodness. And then when he first uh, when he was trying to search for Gobomon in this uh, outfit. And then here we go is Gobomon. Then for the detail. And then it's Takuru time. And then Patamon. 
No difference, it's just more chubbier and more cuter. And then my favorite, Hickory. Then there's a lot of outfit for Hickory that she wears. It's very simple. Then look at that, even they even talk about the detail, they put that flower on it. Oh my gosh. And then next up is Tamwon. I really like the pose when Tamwon always goes to the side view, that side angle. It's really is impressive. And then next up is last but not least is Mako. Then one of her uh, casual uh, outfits. And so as this one. And then the cheerleading outfit when she's actually been forced by Mimi. And then her partner, no other than Meikumon. And look at that, so cute. We can finally get to see the up close one. It's like putting a scarf on it. That's really cool how they uh, design Meikumon. Then here's the further, further detailed one. Then here is the expression of a Meikumon. Look at that. And then the ninja Meikumon when it was uh, when Meikumon was tagging along with Palmon. Then here is the guy. I can't remember his name. Then the, his expressions, and then his casual outfit, and then the cheeky lady that smiled total three times is uh, Himikawa, that's her name, if I get it correctly. I don't trust her, she's like a villain to me, but I could be wrong. And then here's her uh, casual outfit, as you can see the belt and then the watch. And then next up is Ken Ichijoji, the Digimon Emperor. And look at the design of him. Oh my gosh, he's so cool looking in this uh, in this draft, to be honest. Then here is he uh, Taichi, uh, Taichi and Hikari's mother, which we noticed that the father's not there, only the mother. And then I believe this one could be the father of um, Koshiro, if I get it correctly. And we do notice that we didn't get to see the, the parents of the eight uh, Digidestins. That's one thing I did notice that. And then there's more that is a mystery. Oh, this is actually um, uh, Joe's father, I guess. It says here in the, the Japanese version. Then here is Joe's mother. We never get to see their image actually. Then this is one of uh, Mimi's classmates. Then here is the newscaster, which is also the same voice of this character. And then here's these weird outfits that people are trying to wear as their scariest outfit. Then going to the Digimon Evolution Greymon Metal Greymon War Greymon. Oh my gosh, look at the detail. I'm so speechless. Garurumon. Even though it's just a draft, but it's so cool. Where Garurumon? Metal Garurumon. Oh my gosh. And then the epic Omega Mon. Oh, holy crap. And then the face, upper close of Me Omega Mon. All the weapons of Mega Mon. What the heck? This is so amazing. Next up, Bergamon. Then Burge Woman at the side uh, angle, then even the eyes, and then Kaputeria Moon, then the, almost the back view, then here, Togemon, 
side front and a little bit to the back and a little to the front and then here is the gorgeous little one and then right here is Rosemon or in a simple way Rosemon and then the upper or closer image look of uh, Rosemon really beautiful she is then next up Ikakumon very fluffy and so much detail and then Zudomon Vikemon oh my gosh that detail even at the chest part I mean the back part I'm confused this is just so impressive and the closer look of Vikemon and then here is Angelmon. You can see even his stuff and then his gloves. Wow. Then the closer image look of Angelmon. Next up is the Iwekamon. I forgot his name. The one that appeared in the very first episode of Digimon Adventures and Digimon Adventures Try. And then a bit of the back view. Next time is Alphamon. I can only say two words. Holy crap again. And then more image, more closer look of him, of Alphamon. Next time, next one is Hakamon, if I get it correctly. One with a cape and without the cape. And then here is one of the rivalry of Lemon. I forget his name. He only appeared in the chapter 2, Determination. That he was been hypnotized and so forth. As you can see, his eyes is actually white. Like he's already been infected by the virus. Then here, the bravery Leomon. A closer look of Leomon. He's so cool looking. But he died. Again. Then here is Leomon in the in disguise oh my gosh I literally forgot about this and then one of the characters that appeared also in determination in episode 5 but just a few parts only and is the best friend of Patamon and Takaru if you recall on the very first series next up is um, I forgot the name but is the DNA evolution the mega form has been hypnotized and then here one more as well is the fighting mode. I just forgot their names, I do apologize. Imperial Jamon, yes, this this is one. Imperial Jamon and the fighting mode Imperial Jamon. Yes, finally I remembered. And then more closer look of this when they get infected. Or if they're infected. And then next up is the evil uh, Meikumon, which uh, it made us so sad. But the design is really cool. Oh my gosh, look at that! Then even the eyes, how it goes so devilish kind of look. So moving on is the prop design works. As in those DG vices. Then the part 2 ones. And yes, this one, it's, it's already been released today and you better grab it because this is limited. Instead of 6,000, it's actually 3,000 people can get it. So if those of you are a fan of uh, uh, Takaru and Hikuri, or one of them, this is cost like 7,200 yen like that. So around Hong Kong dollars, it's 780 Hong Kong dollars. So I asked the seller again to help me buy this once he fly to uh, Japan. Then here's the Google glasses uh, from Tai Chi that's made from Koshiro. And then the cell phone from Tai Chi, as you can tell already. Then his bicycle. Then the harmonica from uh, Yamato. That's even uh, written there as Blue Sharp. And then his guitar, and then the adjustment to adjust his uh, electrical guitar. Then his phone, which is the sticker of Night of Day. Then his motorcycle. Next up is Sora's phone. As you can see, the butterfly right there. 
And then this is one of the clocks that I can't remember where it is, but it looks familiar. And then another phone that's one of the agency. I think that's from the lady that smiles a lot. Himikawa, I think. And then right here is uh, Koshiro's laptop. And we can't forget because of the pineapple logo. And then here is Mimi Tachigawa's cell phone. As you can see, she has a lot of straps like the this cotton thing and then the bear. I forgot what's the name of the bear and then some ice cream like that. Then moving on. Bags! Her bags are so fashion fashionable. And the uh, gummy gummy that uh, she when it's around like episode two or three. It's also in the reunion when she was uh, Finally, she was able to meet the other uh, seven Digidestins. And then here is the accessories, I mean the stationary stuffs from Joe. Then here is the bag of Joe. And then I believe this one is also Joe's. I kind of remember. I could be wrong. All the cell phones. I think this one is Takaru's. Then here is Hikri Yagami's tele uh, I mean the camera, which she also have this in season two. And then moving on, there's more devices, more phones, and this is the one the brand that Sora has. That is called the Barbar Chica. I'm not sure sure if this is her phone. It could be someone else's phone. And then more props. That's from the the guy, the one with the Himikawa. And then another phone, and then the two, and then when they're in the uh, spa area, and then the guns from the military, then foods, place, and so forth. And next up is the art design works, which finally there is the color. Then how it looks like of the school in the basic form and inside the school and this is the classroom example and here's the desk and chair and then there's Tai Chi for example how it looks like the size of it and the height more info about the stairway the example how the character will look like where they're standing and posing everywhere even in another room and then there is more, and then the soccer ball uh, or football field. And then here is his room, or also with Hikari, and this is their house in general. Next up is Sora's uh, room, and then Koshiro's uh, secret basement room. And then the stuff that's in Koshiro's secret basement room. And then this one could be Joe's room, I think. Because there's like a lot of books in there. Yep, it is. Then here, I'm not so sure who it is. I think this is Mako's room. Yep, it is. This is Mako's room. Then this is like where they always hide, to always meet up and then hide out like that. Where no one can see their Digimons. Then here's the upper deck, like above the bridge. Then here is this uh, kind of an office. I can't remember where it is. Oh, it's the um, I can't remember. It's like the art room. Then right here, there's more like the. It's like also an office room, but it's not really there. Is. And then here's the school with the school festival design on it. Then there's more. This is the um, the toilet, I guess. It has to be the toilet. Oh wait, this is the the toilet from the, the spa area. Am I bad? Then this one is the male's toilet in the spa area, and this one is the female ones. And then here's the outside area. Then here's the bus inside. Wow. Then here is some other. I can't remember where's this. I think this is like the out, uh, outside station. Could be wrong. 
then there's more that is a lot of work even right here the detail I really love the, the the work in progress. It's so cool. And then the last of all is the the 3D DSCG model. The evolution of the Digimons. Going through one by one. Like we can have this upper closer look of each and every one of the Digimons. Oh, too bad, you don't have Telmon. Then the evolution, how they like be before they evolve. And here's the like this dist uh, distortion, like not really the digital world, but it seems like a digital world. It looks so amazing how they do that. And yep, that's the end of it. And oh my gosh, my arm, my arm is hurts. Whew. Okay. Wait, let's put this aside first. Because my right arm right now, it hurts so bad. So putting your gender right there. And I can finally relax my arm. And focus on my phone again. So before I end this video, and hopefully less than before 30 minutes, because it's really uh, almost 27 minutes. So in my conclusion, this book even though it's heavy, oh, it really hurts my arm while I'm holding the book and showing each page to every one of you. But still, this book is so amazing. Every uh, WIP works inside, uh, all starting from the characters, their uh, their props, their their rooms, their school, and so forth. Even the streets area, it's so amazing. You can even. I just don't know what to say, it's just how they do this kind of work progress. Even though it's not really in an anime version yet, but just in the scratch version. It's just outstanding, really love it. So if those of you who likes uh, kind of an artwork that regarding about about this uh, kind of work in progress, or you like the drafts about it, or if you're a huge fan of a Digimon that you want to know this WIP, how the people uh, work on these, Digimon Adventures Tri-Series from head to toe this is the book that you that you must I guarantee that people like myself really likes Digimon stuff even when it comes to like non-color illustration book but this is like a WIP book design work you must grab this before it ends like before it's totally sold out and I'm not so sure if they still have some more stocks in Japan because you can only get this and grab this in Japan so wish the rest of you for those of you who really want to grab this one or plan to pre-order this book because this is just a limited uh, one of the limited items that's from the event so if you enjoyed this video guys about this uh, design uh, book bo uh, design design work click the like and subscribe to my channel and as always see you all in the next anime preview